So in this video I'm going to show you how to make a very simple, easy, quick, delicious green soup. It's the perfect thing to have if you've had quite a big lunch and you just want a really, really light dinner, but you feel like you've been lacking in greens a little. So it's a hot, we call it the hot green smoothie soup. Kind of like a green smoothie, but it's actually cooked. So the onions are looking softer. I'm going to add my garlic and also add the finely diced celery. We don't need to worry too much about our knife skills because we're going to be whizzing it up with a stick blender. And we cook the celery with the onion for a few minutes. Okay, when the celery is cooked for a few minutes, we can add the zucchini. Because this is such a simple soup, we're not using a stock or anything, so it's really the onions, the celery, the garlic, and the zucchinis that are our flavour base. So we want to cook them and draw as much flavour from them as we can before we add our water. So we'll cook the zucchinis for a few more minutes. Okay, now that everything's been cooking for a while, uh, it's time to add some boiling water. About four cups. And then also add some salt. That's a soup, so it's gonna need a, a bit. So I'll start with my three pinches, but I think I'm gonna need four or five. Pepper would go nicely with this as well, so I'll just add some pepper as well. It's a bit of a light Italian soup, really. So, we'll pop the lid on and bring that to the boil and boil it for about five minutes or until the zucchini is soft. So when that's been cooking for about 10 minutes and both the celery and the zucchini are soft, we can add the spinach and the parsley. Now we want to cook these until the spinach is soft, um, but we don't want to cook them for so long that we lose the vibrant green of the spinach before we blend the soup with a blender. So just keep an eye on the soup and don't overdo the spinach. So now that the spinach is nice and soft, we can blend the soup up with a stick blender. I'll uh, show you what it looks like when it's done. Now I used rainbow chard which has red stalks so it's a little bit redder than it would normally be, not quite as green. But you can see that it's still a lovely green soup. And to finish it off we just add a squeeze of lemon and then more and salt and pepper to taste. So there we have it all finished. A delicious light hot green smoothie soup or a light Italian soup.